What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're with Texas All Water Fishing. You know, we just had a front that came through. It's we're kind of in between rainstorms right now, but I'm gonna go out in the morning. I threw an open invite to my Patreons. Looks like the rain. <laughs> looks like the the rain is probably gonna be done this evening, this afternoon, and then in the morning, it's gonna be very windy, very windy, very cold. Um, things will be pushing. Wind chills will be pushing about 30, 35. So, wish me luck, you know, Flounder love that stuff, you know. I'm going to be going to a a local spot in Galveston and fish off the bank a little bit. Do an open invite. Got a few patrons that are coming out. I think Eric is going to come out too. And then we're going to go out and see what we can get. Be throwing live goat. I mean, be throwing live goat. Be throwing goat, targeting some flatties. And you know what? Targeting Flounder during the closure is like, it's no different than targeting bull reds or black drums or or even uh you know catching fish and you're not keeping or going out and fishing on days you're not keeping you know it's no different as long as you set that hook set don't gut hook any no harm no foul but we're gonna go out we're gonna have a good time it's gonna be cold it's gonna be chilly fingers crossed but you know flounder love that kind of weather flounder love this nasty weather so wish us luck Hopefully catch us hooking up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You know what I mean? You got him already? You got him? Huh. Hey. Hey. Set that hook. Oh yeah. Eric, first? First cast? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he went in the hole. Get him on up. Oh, that's a nice one. Slide him over here, right here. There you go. I seen that lure hanging out of his mouth. I didn't want him to uh, yeah. come off. That's what I'm talking about, Eric. Miss Sheila, we got one early. Yeah. Leave it up to Eric. Somebody wanted to come home early. Boop, boop. I think, I don't know. What? Do, do, uh, you got some big flounder, the older flounder that been hooked a few times. Bite them in the mouth. You know, I mean, I, I wouldn't doubt it. You yeah. know, I mean, fish do that all the time. They'll grab something and spit it right out. Yeah. I've even I've even seen it, like, even like on my, um, well, like fish I used to have in the, the aquarium. I didn't even see them do it with, with real food, with real bait. Uh-oh, this might be one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, that's a good one. That one was locked down on the bottom. That was a good one. This is a little, maybe, he was probably about 15 maybe, but he was locked in, locked and loaded. Don't stop it yet? Turn around, man, I said turn around. Oh, man. He said he dropped it, he let it go. So don't wait, see, that's why you don't wait. Don't wait in the hook set. We'll just slide him up. Eric's line broke clean. His leader line broke clean. Leaves in 25. I was like, he was 30, maybe even 40 out here for these guys. You got a lot of structure. You got a lot of rocks. You got a lot of debris. There's a lot of reasons why your line can get compromised. Your leader line can get compromised. So I like to use 40. And uh, but today I think I have 30 on. I think Miss Sheila has one on. Yeah, he all the time. There you go. Stay where you're at. There we go. There we go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. He swallowed that. That's a pretty too. one. Pretty one. That's awesome. All right. All catch and release today. No keeping. There you go. Eric's on. Eric's on. Eric's on. Bring him on up here. There you go. Look at that one. Oh, right in my face. Oh, man. That's a quick release. Look how curvy it is. Mm -hmm. The little guy. I don't think basically we're doing is just jigging. I mean, we're just like, it's just bouncing on the bottom. 
So I just move my rod tip and then I roll the act of slack and then bounce it and move my rod tip. We use the old samurai secret. Old samurai secret. Look, we are one on here. He's a little small guy. There we go. <laughs> Another crank on this reel. There we go. He just grabbed it right in front. They don't wait for the hook set. Get it right in their mouth. You feel a little bit of weight on it. Lower your rod tip. Reel in your slack. Lower your rod tip. And just get a nice, good, hard, solid, solid hook penetration. I've been using these... Uh, h2o express academy jig heads and they have such a good barb on them like literally literally if you get that penetration on them you get that hook on them that hook set they're not coming off i mean it's if you get a really good hook set they're almost hard to take off i mean they are hard to take off it's a little guy but still fun little baby let him go offshore make some babies uh -oh. there you go get him eric Oh, Jose, Eric on, double up. Double up, double up. Oh, Eric lost him. Quick release. Hey, slap his, slap his line. Get your knife. Cut it off. Cut it off. He's right in front of you. Come on, Jose, get him up here. There you go. Uh oh, Miss Sheila's on. Come on, Miss Sheila. We had another, we had another school roll through. Everybody, yeah, that all three y'all on at the same time. Yeah. There you go, Miss Sheila. Come on. There you go, Miss Sheila. That's a good one. There you go. That's awesome. That's awesome, guys. Great job. Yeah, there you go, Jose. Doubled up. Eric got him. Sheila's on. Tripled up. We're all on. We're all on. Quadruple, everybody. Oh, she lost it. He dropped it. He let it go. Can't tell. Nope. It ain't one. You got one? You got a solid one? Oh, there you go. There you go. Come on. He was stuck, latched on, huh? Come on, Eric. There we go. We're double. We're doubled up. Oh, Eric, that's a slab. Yes, Woo! Yeah, that's Look point. at that one. Oh. That's a 20, baby. Yeah, you got that 20 on it. Yeah. Eric got the 20. Eric got the 20. Woo! Eric called it. Eric said, that's a good one. And I said, yeah, I know that one's a good one. And then while I was recording him, I felt a thump. Can't let him eat it. I can't let him eat it. I had to, had to go in fish mode and get off cameraman mode. It was a big one. Is that the first 20 of the day? Nope. Dang, 19. 19 and, 19 and a half. half. Almost 19 and three quarters. Dang. Right here. Right here. Right here. Literally like right in front. Dang. See, they move in. They move in and get close. And then the next wave will come through. These guys will leave and the next wave will come through. See, he's already off. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. Oh, got him. That's that knock and tell lure. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Go to your right. Go to your right. Pull him up. Pull him up. There you go, baby. Yeah, knock and tell in the house. Look at that. That's a knock and tell, baby. What you know about them knockers? That's a nice one. There's a nice one. Nice and curvy. Look at that curve to him. Mm-hmm. Ooh, coochie good. Look, he laughed. He liked it. Look, coochie coochie. I don't think. I don't think he likes it. Knock and tell, baby. Blue blue. Yeah, I told you. Get him. I told you get that corner. I knew there would be one. You go right by the rock. You got one too? Oh, yep. Might as well make it three. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Tripler. Quadruple, because she still got hers on. Oh, no, she 
Look at all these flatties. Where are all these flatties coming from? We gonna start our own fish market. Y'all throwing them back? Yes. Oh, absolutely. One hundred percent. Ruben. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. So we just stopped by Game Warden, and did you see people that know fish and know what's healthy and what's not healthy, and what's good for them? They didn't say stop fishing for flounder. They didn't say, hey, why are you still out here fishing for them? What's going on? They didn't say any of that. They just said you're releasing them. Yeah. We're releasing them. No harm, no foul. Because it's not illegal. It's not wrong. So, I mean. So, hello. 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 Yeah, when I was standing on that rock right there, like almost like where you are straight there. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. That's a 20. That's the one I just let go. Ah! No, he's about 18. Dang. Look how wide this guy is. Look how wide he is. He's wide. That's, that's about 10 inches wide. <clears throat> All right, so he is 17, three quarters. But how wide he is? Nine. Stop, man. Almost 10 inches. He, he almost 10 inches wide. He wider than two fish long. Almost 10 inches wide. That's crazy. Oh my hit, goodness. Man. Bring over to these rocks down here. You can't walk around, can you? Uh -huh. Open the swing right there where you at. Come on, bring him. Ooh, he's big, bro. Come on, I know he is. Oh goodness. Man, he big as shit. <laughs> he's behind you. I know I'll try to keep us keep him out that hole. I thought he came off. Oh wait. I thought he came off. So I try to step in that hole. Here. <laughs> stop, stop. Yeah, so this is a nice big 20, 20 plus. Look how wide he is from here to here. We didn't have a, a net, if not, not yeah, a net. We didn't have a net. It's best to net those. You don't want to hurt them any more than there. Put them through nothing, but got them up here. No harm, no foul. Not getting low. About 22, but it's so thick though. Yep, that's bumping 20, the wall. 22. Ooh 22. Damn, Eric, that's a nice one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get my camera out. So I can get you a picture for you. Dude, how wide is it? That's a good question. 12. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Right at 12. <laughs> Almost legal. Damn. Sideways. That is a big girl. Look how thick she is, man. I'm telling you. That's the thing that I can't get over. Just her jaw, mm -hmm. her thickness. Man, that's a pretty girl. That's some dropper in there. Easy now. She can go make some babies. Oh, yeah. She is good. She's swimming strong. Yeah, baby boy. Man, that's what I talk about. Woo. All right, so that's gonna do it today. You know, I'm at top secret location, number four, Galveston area. Out here, we got Jose, Jay-Z, Patreon friend, Jose. Jose out here, we got Eric out here. Eric, Mr. Big Man. At the big, big 20, 20. Yeah, but we're out here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna that's gonna do it for me, you know. Um, we're probably just gonna fish a little bit more. My battery is my memory, my GoPro. Man, I'm telling you, man, this is probably like enough footage for like maybe four videos. I can't even imagine how many fish we caught. How many fish we caught? Everybody? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're, I think we're about 70. We're a little under 100 today. And they're just running, you know? And we got a lot of big 17s, a lot of big 18s. Um, a couple of 19 and a halves, and the Eric had that one over 20. 
you know this is just fun you know catch and release hook set no good hook no gut hooks nice solid hook sets catch and release just out there having a good time you know we had texas park and wildlife come out and they said good job guys tear them up y'all have fun we'll catch you make sure you catch and release everything of course that's what we're doing so but yeah man just a good time open invite to my patreons but um yeah we're probably gonna fish a little more we'll put the gopro up just kind of all right, I got cut off in that. My battery died. But yeah, so, you know, that's going to do it. You know, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe to already. Like the video, comment, share. All that stuff helps out. And you know what? If you want to be a Patreon, I'm going to go home. I'm going to throw... Uh, I threw an open invite for today, so everybody kind of knows where I'm at. I'm going to throw a fish report. Let them know what colors we were throwing, what was working, what wasn't working. And But you know what? Honestly, everything worked today. Everything didn't matter what color. Um, but I'm going to throw that up and... If they want to come out today or come out tomorrow, come out in the afternoon, come out the next day, uh, the day after, you know, they know what's going on at this location. So, you know, just giving the insight, giving a fish report. But thanks again. I hope next time you catch me hooking up. And I hope you guys get out there soon. You know, uh, the weather, it was like 20 mile an hour winds this morning. About temperature, which wind chill, temp was about 37. But flounder love it like that. And you know what? I love the flounder if they're loving it and if they're if they're feeding then you know what i'm gonna catch them i'm gonna hook up thanks guys hopefully next time you catch me hooking up